Hello. It was down to London on November the 7th, 2014. I was lucky enough to get free invite to the Salon QP, one of the world's most important watch events, which was also displaying the winners of the 2014 Watch Oscars. A very hotly contested year, so how did Amiga do? Amiga were not showing, but I still have my eye out for any watchy. And amongst some very expensive company, I did spot a flown moonwatch that did, that did not look in any way out of place. There were also some very interesting exhibitions on watchmaking and watch repair, uh, which I enjoyed. There was an awful lot to see, and there have been over 7,000 visitors at the show. Uh, I am an Amiga fan, but uh, JJ Le Culture is also uh, a brand I'm a, a fan of, um, and uh, Perpetual Calendar Movements, uh, and I thought this was an exquisite watch uh, they had on display. Uh, there was also some uh, interest in technology, uh, resonance, uh, this uh, oil-filled uh, Type 3 watch, uh, no hands uh, in one 3D plane uh, with the uh, day date. Uh, it was quite, quite interesting, I thought. Not something I'd wear personally, but uh, commendable. Uh, and there were many uh, other displays on, on fine watchmaking. And with some relative newcomers, again, uh, amazing examples of uh, fine craftsmanship uh, and also I I exquisite looking timepieces. I think whatever your, your personal choices are, uh, you, you have to admire uh, when you see uh, quality items and quality engineering like this. Also, uh, Mont Blanc, I've mentioned the uh, perpetual calendar. To, to see a watch like this, which is, uh, I think, retailing for around £8,500, uh, it's, it's amazing to see a watch with that much uh, comp complexity for sale at that price. Uh, I, I did have a look at this watch, but uh, you'll see I didn't let my 3220 get too far away in the background there. There were numerous exhibitors. Uh, very nice watches uh, and also ancillary items uh, like watch winders uh, e excellent um, I I exhibition to visit uh, also in the back of my mind as I said was the uh, watch Oscars the Grand Prix uh, Dology uh, apologize for my pronunciation uh, basically a public interest foundation to promote Swiss watchmaking and its values annually rewarding the finest creations and most important operators in the watch world. Uh, as I say, the watch Oscars. I, I was really struck with um, the, this perpetual calendar. I thought it was a beautiful, beautiful watch. There were, there were quite a few different categories and award winners. Uh, it's a lovely piece, I think you'll agree. Um, but uh, interesting for me was Amiga, who uh, also won, and there's uh, some YouTube video of the presentations in Geneva, uh, October 31st, and it was Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, I wasn't sure about this watch when it, it first came out. Um, I like metal straps. I don't normally go for uh, ceramic or uh, just black watch, but seeing it there in the flesh um, really uh, was struck by the piece and the, uh, the look of it. Just uh, um, Also this one, I think the clear sapphire back is something I don't I don't normally uh, go for, but uh, just looking at this watch um, and, and the fact it's an award winner, uh, it really did uh, win win me over. So uh, after uh, after that, it was uh, a, a quick tube and taxi into London, um, making sure with uh, limited funds I wasn't distracted by any of the uh, other um, many temptations. There's a, a lot of ways to uh, part with your cash. And, and head off to an uh, Amiga boutique uh, to see this uh, dark side in, in the flesh and in, in not in a display cabinet. Um, 
that boutique uh, on the way. There's uh, a few of the usual usual suspects, uh, so a good opportunity for some window shopping. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was it was really uh, there to go in uh, see the dark side. Um, might be quite an apt name uh, as it's quite an expensive uh, watch to uh, to consider compared to some of the other uh, like the Moon Watch uh, or the uh, some of the Seamasters and Speedmasters, which I'm typically a fan of. Uh, so uh, yeah, I did uh, I did go in. I had a good look, look at the watch, and I'll put a separate report up on that at some point. Uh, did I take the plunge to buy it? Well, um, I won't say now, uh, but uh, yeah, I certainly uh, needed a bit of time to reflect and uh, relax after the day uh, before I got the train back. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and. Uh, I'll put some more vids up soon. Cheers.